Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Cope and I'm an Entrepreneur Circle Certified Coach. So this video is being recorded the day after the UK budget and doom and gloom is everywhere. But the good news is that as a business owner, you're in control. So what are you going to do to respond to this challenge? Now, we're lucky enough um, as an EC coach that uh, we get lots and lots of support. And a couple of weeks ago, um, we had a presentation from Nigel, Nigel Botterill, um, about this very subject. And I've been given permission that uh, I can actually share this with uh, with my connections. So I think it's very, it'll be very useful for you and hopefully give you some ideas and inputs um, of what you can do um, through this uh, next challenging uh, time which we're told is going to be about two years and we're also told that we're in recession what uh, whatever that means now some of us are old enough to remember being in recessions before um, the mid 70s um, we remember coming home from school and, and the lights were switched all switched off there's no electric we had power cuts we uh, would have our cold tea um, to uh, to uh, candlelight now I'm not uh, a supporter of the idea that uh, you know because we've been through it you should all go through it um, but there were tough times uh, and that was brought on by again energy costs this time it was uh, uh, oil costs from the Middle East that were rocketing through the roof um, so we've seen that before um, 2008 uh, which was when my life changed dramatically uh, with Woolworths crashing and uh, the redundancies that then followed um, was just the start of uh, the last recession but interestingly enough, that's when the Entrepreneur Circle was born. So not only was my life changing, um, ultimately for the better, although I must admit it didn't seem like it at the time, but the whole Entrepreneur Circle movement was being started by Nigel Botterill at that same time as well. So these things in parallel were happening, so good things do happen. Um, think about the last COVID, um, well not the, last, the COVID situation that we've all just come through. Thus, some companies, yes, were definitely impacted, but there was also a number of companies that did very well out of it. Um, Amazon, Netflix, Zoom, um, companies that uh, really grew. So it's about positioning yourself, about the right mindset, and about how you're going to respond to these challenges. So what are you, what are you going to do as the business owner to uh, have an impact on the, your business over the next couple of years? So. History tells us there are huge opportunities in the times of downturn. It creates new opportunities. It creates opportunities for companies. Like I just said, Zoom. Zoom was just a very small company before COVID. Now look at it. Everybody's using it. Everybody's changed. So how is your business going to be impacted and what changes are you going to make? But there's lots of skills and lots of knowledge and lots of support you can get from the entrepreneur circle. Um, and that can help you but you have to think properly and you have to do the right things so you have to understand what the threats are of which we're not hiding from the fact there are lots of threats out there right now inflation energy prices interest rates the supply chain if you're struggling to get products from from across the world the geopolitical situation across with the, all the impact that Russia's having on the world right now all these things need to be understood and how they impact on your business. And don't be frozen by worry and fear. Your competitors will be doing that. Let them just worry and, and get frozen and not take any action. You can actually do something about this. So let's look at inflation and interest rates. What does that actually mean for your business? Well, let's be honest, the customers will have less money. You know, everything's more expensive, there'll be less disposable income, your customers, whatever market they're in, will have less money to spend. So some of the customers will stop buying, or they may just be postponing their buying decisions. You need to understand that, you need to understand what's happening with your customer base. Are they stop buying, are they going elsewhere, or are they just postponing their decisions? So that means that your market is going to shrink. So you and your competitors are trying to get the same sales, but clearly there's less customers out there. So recognising that puts you in control. 
your your competitors will just be worrying and, and running around like chickens with their heads cut off and saying all the customers are gone they've disappeared all the doom and gloom if you recognize that you're in control you can do something about it and the good news is it's how you think about that and what you do that will define your destiny recognize that you get to decide what the next two three two to three years are like for you you know, you can decide you understand your business better than anybody else so you know what you can do so it's the time to get busy but smart busy and doing the right things that are going to get you through this and it's about having that accurate thinking not all the doom and gloom not all the negativity but the economic situation will be bad for lots of people but not for everybody there's always companies that will thrive the companies that seize the opportunity realize how their market has changed and respond to it are the ones that are going to going to thrive through this process it's not a lottery it's not down to look it's cause and effect the things you do will affect what the results you get and you are in control of that so a question for you what your industry your business are you going to be resilient or are you going to be affected by it the customers that you have the industries and businesses that they're in are they going to be resilient or are they going to be really affected by what's coming over the next couple of years and the difference between the winners and the lunas, losers will be how they think and what they do struggle and hardship is not inevitable if you're thinking smart if you're working out what's going on working out what's to do then you will be successful you'll get through this it's not going to stop investing in the growth of business just because the economy is wobbling there is still money out there it's just in different places and you've got to go and find where that is and it's the time to invest when and it pays off the most so when everybody's panicking people are jumping ship people are not investing in their business more often than not they drown but plenty of businesses will go to the wall and for no other reason than the quality of thinking of the owner they'll get overwhelmed by everything that's happening they won't have that clear plan they won't invest they'll do the opposite they'll retract they won't take risks they think they're going to play it safe let's batten down the hatches you know, I'm not saying go out bonkers and, and start taking risks, but take calculated risks. Understand the, the, the impact of that risk if it was to go wrong. Have a mitigation in place. And, and people aren't willing to learn, to grow, to innovate and do things differently. Now's the time to really invest in, in your knowledge and understand what's going on and think about how you can do things differently. So the majority are too busy shitting themselves, to be honest, to see the opportunity let alone seize it but you can because if you think properly if you think differently you think accurately you can seize the opportunity that nobody else can see because they're just blinded like a like a rabbit in the headlights so what are the six most useful steps that you can take right now to uh, to do that to get you on track and keep you on track you've got to have a clear target and goal you know you hear this many times but it's you hear it because it's true you know, if you don't know where you're going and you don't know what that number is that you're aiming for you, you, you're just not going to get there so it's like getting in the car and not setting off the sat nav in, putting the right you know, postcode into the sat nav if you just stick London into the sat nav you're going to get somewhere within 70 miles radius of where you want to get if you put the actual postcode in there you're going to get to that actual spot where you need to be so you've got to have that number what's your what's your target what's your goal and the way to solve any problem is by getting clear on what you want so which is a better question for you to ask yourself how am i going to survive or how can i add xk to my monthly recurring revenue by the end of next year there's one very negative view of that question one very positive view which one are you going to be but you need a plan you're not going to get there just by a wing and a prayer you need to have actions you need to know what you're going to do 
and control the controllables you, know, you need to be in control of that plan there's things that you can't control don't worry about those don't try and control them they're just going to happen whether you like it or not it's only going to stress you out be in control have that plan know where you want to get to and then break it right down into you know, weekly or daily actions of what you're going to do to get to that plan so your message is you know focus on the right things you can control right now you don't have to fester on the things you can't you know focus on the things tell your customers that so what can we control well, you can control your attitude you can control the way you think because your attitude is the most important thing you have every single day it's absolutely everything it's the foundations for everything from the way you get up in the morning to the way you behave your attitude is absolutely key and it's the single biggest ingredient if you look at all the winners in business if you look at the one common thing that they all have between them it's their attitude and why is that so important because everything is linked to your success to your absolute dream lifestyle that you want to achieve so you have that positive thought that positive attitude and so that positive thought leads into having that positive attitude the way you go about things which then leads into a positive communication so when you're talking to clients staff members suppliers that positive communication is coming across and that always creates a memorable customer experience you know we remember how people make us feel we remember having that conversation with someone that was really positive equally we remember the conversations with people that are really really negative and drag us down so you by having that positive thought positive attitude leads into your communication being positive which then gives that memorable customer experience so of course if you've got memorable customer experiences that leads on to having loyal customers loyal customers brings you a successful business successful business brings you into the profitable business and then hey guess what the lifestyle that you already dreamed of so having that positive thought goes right the way through all the experiences of your business to the ultimately affecting the lifestyle that you have so you're controlling the controllables but your activity is absolutely key so your diary are you spending time during the day i.e 90 minutes working on your business every day it's never been more important than try and do that 90 minutes if you're struggling with that if you're not doing that start with 30 minutes start with 45 minutes work up to it the more you do it the more you get involved in doing it the easier it will become because you'll see the benefits of it you'll realize the benefits of it and you'll actually look forward to doing it and it will become the one most important thing that you do every single day and nothing will stop you from doing it because you'll know the benefits yeah you know, i've got some desk pads if you're struggling to um to actually do that i can send you um some information or a printout that you can have and have these things on your desk where you can actually plan these things out for yourself because making money and making excuses are mutually exclusive wholly incompatible just think about that making money and making excuses are mutually exclusive so you can either do one or the other but you can't do both you won't make money and make excuses so putting those 90 minutes in every day to actually work on your business do the things that are going to move your business forward the actions that you've got in your plan not fixing customer problems not in, an, answering emails or any of that kind of stuff no that's not it doing the things in those 90 minutes that are going to move your business forward if you're already an ec member you'll have access to the vault and there's some great material in there that will help you to uh, understand how to get those 90 minutes going
If not, I'll show you at the end how you can uh, you can have a look at some of that information. And the thing to remember is that as the business owner, you're a hundred percent responsible for what happens in your business. Nobody else, not the government, not COVID, not the recession. It's all down to you. That's the good news and that's the bad news. But you can fully influence what happens within your business. Nigel Bottrell wrote a whole book um, quite a few years ago of lots of rules, uh, lots of one-liners, um, sentences, but a really, really, really key. Um, literally called but Botty's Rules, I believe. So yeah, check it out. Get a get a copy of that. It's really, really useful. It's one of the first things that uh, introduced me to the entrepreneur circle, actually. But the rule number one, uh, the first big leap from ordinary ordinary businesses to big income businesses comes quickly once the business owner makes that intellectual, emotional, and actual switch from being a doer on his and her thing to being the marketer of his and her thing. So when you make that leap from, as we call it, getting out of the weeds to actually working on your business, actually marketing your business, that's when the magic happens. That's when the income really starts to, to rise that's when things really start to change for you. Because marketing is not a non-essential spend. What is the point of having the most amazing product if you're not telling anybody about it? You, know, you need to be getting out there and telling the people what is the problem that your business solves for them. You know, it's not about you, it's not about what you do. It's about the problems that you solve for your customers. And the way to do that, obviously, you've, you've got to do some marketing um, to do that. But you've got to understand you know, your numbers as well for marketing. It's not just about bashing a whole load of money into Facebook ads or something like that. It's about understanding the value of your customer, how much it's a customer's worth to you. Therefore, how much do you need to spend on your marketing to get that return? Because it is, it is an investment. Follow up. This is where so many businesses go, go wrong. They don't have a system, they don't have a simple message to follow up, and they don't do it religiously. Most of your customers, three, there's only 3% of your potential customers that are actually looking to buy right now. Yeah, there's a pyramid that we use, but it shows you that there's a lot more in that other percentage They've said probably about 60% of the people that are, are thinking about buying might be about to buy, but they're not quite ready now. So your follow-up system is going to be talking to these people, attracting these people and bringing them through to that top 3%. And make friends and help people. Your business at the end of the day is not about what you do. It's about how you help people, how you solve their problems and make sure that's that's what you're doing, helping helping people. There was a story um, only a couple of weeks ago where someone, uh, one of the uh, Entrepreneur Circle members and had this person on their list for three years. They'd been sending them emails and they'd ignored those emails. But with one of the emails that we have, one of the templates that we have within the vault, when we call the EC members will know the alligator email, very famous email. He sent that out and got this email back from them um, after not hearing from them for, for absolutely weeks, resulted in £80,000 worth of business. That's the power of the follow-up. That's the power of doing things a little bit differently. Um, the templates are there in the vault. You've got access to them. Uh, 80,000 pounds of business, not bad for an email, eh? And then you know, choose to be that positive person in the room. You know, there's gonna be plenty of negative people around. You know, you see it on the news every day. There's gonna be plenty of people that, uh, that are gonna try and drag everybody down into, into their position. Uh, people love to worry. Yeah, absolutely, people love to worry. But do you know what? As Nigel's dad told him many years ago, worry never solved anything. I just love that phrase. I used to be a worrier. I used to worry a lot. I could worry for England. But actually, did it solve anything? 
no it just adds to your stress um, because this will pass you know we've I said in, at the beginning we've been in recessions before and we've come out stronger you know yes companies will go to the wall but it's about how you think it's about your attitude you know going into covid the whole world shut down you know we came through it yes there's casualties on the way but it has passed we have moved on we're out there we're facing new challenges now but the covid thing has passed so and panic and fear are contagious you know it sells newspapers it sells news programs it sells television programs but they'll kill you they'll kill the business everybody you know gets on the bandwagon you hear it on the news every day oh my business won't survive because this that and the other no your business won't survive because you're not thinking properly you're not thinking about the things that you can do you know all the cafes and, and restaurants that shut down during covid the ones that switched to doing online deliveries and home deliveries they 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 thrived you know the ones that just shut their doors and panicked and waited for the government to help them you know are they still around now you know i'm not sure probably not because fear distorts the reality and then ultimately you leads to poor decision making you know if you if you're stuck with fear and you know glazed over you can't see things clearly you're going to make poor decisions and that's when businesses are going to suffer so your success will be determined 90% by you and 10% by the outside world so it's what you think and what you do will make the difference to your business and be that positive person it's a choice you wake up in the morning you don't feel too well but you can have a word with yourself and become out positive it's not easy of course it's not easy with everything else around but shut out the negativity shut out the news shut out the negative piece of people in your life you know you can be that positive person and you will attract positive people by by being like that <coughs> rule number four or six sorry step number four p m m p m m f s please make me feel special now's the time when your customers want you to over deliver want you to care want you to show that you care there you're going to stand out you know how many companies do you do do business with when you don't really feel that they care about you you're just a number you're just another transaction but if you go that extra mile you over deliver really show that you care about them they're going to remember that i've got a client that couldn't actually deal with her customers over the uh, over the covid period but she cared she contacted and, and kept in contact with her her customers through video through email through uh, you know, video communications and telephone calls she showed that she cared um, delivered and guess what when they were able to come back and visit her her business absolutely rocketed because she followed the gas approach she gave a shit <laughs> so give a shit about your customers and then of course who you hang around with really really matters you know, you can surround yourself with negative people and you will become one surround yourself with positive people you know get involved in in networking meetings you know like the ec local meetings and there's many others around but if they're positive people if they're talking about what they're doing how they're going to change things how they're going to be successful during this period of time that's where you need to be not with the people that are going to drag you down and tell you all the negative things that are happening and now's the time to be building your audience you know building the people getting the people into your your um funnel that uh, people that are going to be you know maybe not ready to buy right now but when the time's right they will so you're spending your time talking to your audience getting people on side people understanding what you do understanding how you can solve problems for them what do you do what problem do you solve for your audience so <clears throat> in summary have a clear target and goal know where you go we know where you're going know where you want to be in 12 months time have that and have actions that are going to get you to that point 
control the things that you can control. Control the controllables. Things like your attitude, the activity, the things you spend your, spend your time doing every day, and follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up. Put a system in place, have a system in place where nothing falls through the gaps. Be that positive person in the room. You're going to attract other positive people and the right things are going to come your way. Make your customers feel special. Really care about them and show that you care about them. Go that extra mile. Hang around with the right sort of people. People that are going to help you. You know, Do you think people you know, like Branson and, and all those kind of people surround themselves with negative people? No, they hang around with people that are going to help them. Um, they're going to going to get them, keep them in their right attitude with their right mindset, and build your audience. Make sure you're you're, uh, you're working on getting those people into your pipeline, the ones that are ultimately going to uh, end up paying you. It is the era of the professional business person. Yeah, no one's going to help you. It's all down to you. That's the good news. And that's also the bad news. But if you're a professional business person, you're going to get through this because you'll understand and you'll be in control is what is happening in your business. That's absolutely key. Don't be um, blindsided by fear and worry. Understand what's happening to your business. And and if it's a business that you can see that or you can't see where it's, it's going to get in the next 12 months, then maybe you need to look at the business and see, you know, is it the right sort of business for you? Maybe it's the time to, to change it or maybe start up a new one even. You know, just think about what happened as we went into COVID and all the changes that businesses undertook and the ones that didn't. You know, who are the ones that are still standing and who are the ones that have actually thrived and, and been super, uber successful? So it's not mandatory to follow the crowd. It's not mandatory, mandatory to shrink and cut costs and batten down the hatches, what everybody else is doing. It's not mandatory just to have hope as your only strategy. It's not mandatory to tr put your head in the sand and carry on as you are. These are all the things that you should not be doing. But help is available. I've spoken up quite a bit about the EC membership and about the vault where there's lots of uh, lots of uh, um, templates videos on on just about anything you want if you're not a member right now there's the code there and try it out as as a special gift try it out for free for for a month um, there's templates in there if you're new to the ec i would recommend the clarity program the clarity program in there releases videos uh, which really needs about three hours um, a, a week and that includes doing the work as well so it's not three hours of videos there's videos and the work um, they release the videos um, once you've done one the next one gets released so it's not to overwhelm you so it's a, 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 a steady pace that you work through but at your pace uh, check it out if you've got any questions about that you know please please do get in contact with me um, or if your business is uh, on, a, on a much more global scale and, and you want to learn what people across the globe are doing, um, I'd like to invite you to an online uh, global summit. It's on the 1st and 2nd of December. Um, it was originally going to be in London, but actually now it's it's virtual. So uh, it's like 9 to, I think, 1, 2 o'clock, uh, so half a day on the Thursday and the Friday. Um, there's a link again uh, to the uh, to the uh, booking site. Uh, there are some of the speakers that are going to be there, um, all world class in in uh, in what they do. Um, if you want to know more about that, drop me a line. You know, contact me uh, on LinkedIn or um, drop me an email. And uh, I hope that's been useful for you. Hope you've uh, understood the six key steps and. Uh, I hope you can implement them. If you need any more help, please do get in contact with me. And uh, I wish you all the success over the next 12 months. And let's be one of those companies that absolutely smash it and thrive through this next year. Not be one of those that uh, 
and just get swamped by all the all the doom and gloom so take care good luck and i uh, hope to see you at some point soon